Hi guys, Charlie here in Dubai. Today I'm gonna to take you through how to build a highly successful online coaching business in 2024 using Instagram and TikTok. Now, one of the first things you have to do, and this is where most people fuck this up, is they don't do two things. One, they don't clearly define the audience of who they're trying to target. And secondly, they don't have an irresistible offer for them. So first, if you haven't, I'd recommend reading $100 million offers via Alex Ramosi. We'll explain this in great detail. But short synopsis, if you want to make money, you should continue to watch this video until the end because the best secret is going to be the end. Now, what we want to be doing if we want to make a successful coaching business is not charge cheap prices. The biggest mistake most people make is they're charging cheap prices for the coaching business. So for most people, in our video, I discussed how to make 100K a month online. I'd recommend you try and charge 3K for a fitness program. Whether it's for three months, six months, 12 months, doesn't really matter. You need higher price points so that you can actually gain income and you not have to sell huge volume. And the second thing I'd caveat with that is for you to be able to sell the right price points, what do you need? You need the, need the right audience niche, right? Because if it's 16 year old kids on TikTok, you're not gonna be able to sell them a 3K program. But for example, if you're selling 45 year old ladies who suffer with the menopause on TikTok, then yes, they have uh, income. And generally the older someone is, the more financial income they have. And the second thing you want to do when it comes to defining your niche is target someone who actually has a pain point. So generally, for example, menopause for women is a good example because um, women tend to buy more with emotion rather than logic versus men. If they're slightly older than they have more financial income, they have a really big pain point. So that would be an example of a good market. The second would be, uh, say for example, like professional executives say we target a lot of people on LinkedIn and that works very, very well. And that's one of the key strategies we really do well on. And if you have any questions on that, feel free to book in a call with the link below this video and we'll literally show you how that works inside our own uh, seven figure fitness business. But in reality of what we basically do is we try and target the people, say for example, who are very stressed professionals who just wanna pay for the solution. We give them the solution, they then implement it. Your job is to remove the guesswork. Same as we do helping coaches build their business. So you just do the fucking execution. You just do the thing, you make the money, you get the success. They do the workout, they eat the food, they lose the fat, well, fat loss, they achieve the goal of feeling confident, maybe getting the woman they want or whatever it might be. And this is a really important thing is you need to have a USP in terms of how you do this. So every business and every fitness program, you should create what I like to call is a unique mechanism. So our unique me mechanism in CJ Coaching Charlie Johnson Fitness, we call this our metabolic priming diet. Now, what the fuck is that? Our metabolic priming diet is essentially carb cycling. So we jazz that up and tell people this is a way of how you can eat carbohydrates and accelerate fat loss using our metabolic priming diet because it accelerates your metabolism. It just sounds like a jazzy term and it's a cool bit of branding. And the more you can make things sound exciting, the more prospects are gonna buy into them. Everyone loves a name for something. So create a unique mechanism for your business. This is one of the best ways for you to stand out from the crowd. And this is a huge thing that hasn't doesn't happen enough. People are just selling fucking bullshit benefits and features. But how we teach to sell is um, when you have a client on a consultation call or a sales call, is you basically want to be creating rapport at the beginning, and then you tell stories and you create emotion and you find out what the real pain point is. And by life is telling stories. You tell stories that people relate to you and they buy your program and they can understand how you could fix and solve their issues. So my story, for example, of uh, say for helping online trainers is how I was a broker state agent five, six years ago. And now I'm one of the most successful online coaches in the world, multimillionaire who lives in Dubai in a penthouse overlooking Dubai Marina. And you can tell I don't live in my mum's basement because I can show you the view, the two common club <coughs> awards on the wall this shit isn't a joke and that's the reality of that sometimes it's not what you know it's what you can prove and what you can prove shows you the real deal which is why i'd also say if you're a fitness coach you should be in a position where you can show how good you are by just the way you look and also the clients results you get and when you're speaking to say sally who's a menopausal lady who's 48 who's having loads of issues who also wants to lose weight you tell the story about jane who has also had the same problem this is how we use the metabolic diet with jane this is how she feels now. This is how we got the menopause under control. This is how we completely changed her quality of life. And when you tell stories and you tell them impactfully and you tell them with proper communication, what happens? Notice how I slowed my voice down? It's to give impact. And that's how you learn the skills of selling because you just sell people the solution and the permanent solution 
via the story and not enough people are doing this you're selling on fucking macros calories some bullshit app no one gives a fuck no one gives a fuck just sell them what they want to be sold on and what their real pain point is and normally the most awkward question you can ask is probably the question you need to ask and this is what's going to put them over the line now the last thing i want to add into this video to help you in terms of promotions is having a promotional calendar week on week so there's a couple of different ways you can do this even if you look like an instagram story perspective you could have a different promotional calendar every day in the story so like monday we do a, a client result with a cta tuesday we do a free training to a youtube video wednesday we do a client video testimonial to um, a dm link so that would be how for example different thing every day over a week structured out and then maybe every Sunday, which I would suggest is the best day for a big promotion, you post a promotion on your main feed on Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, Facebook, whatever platform you use. That is how I would structure a promotional calendar. And this is how we get clients to print money because they systematize things. They track things. They get good at scur sales and they also make sure they provide great results. And this is the basics of how you blow up a fitness business in 2024. And if you want to find out more about how we can do this in more granular detail and how me and my team can help you actually implement that one-to-one -one with you, hit the link below this video to book in a free call to find out how we can help you. And we've also got access to our 4C content course, which shows you how I've sold nearly $10 million in fitness programs organically on social media. You can click the link for that to get free access for that. If the video was helpful, smash the like button, subscribe would mean a lot and comment below any questions.